Raise your hand if you don't love tiramisu. I am a real fan of this dessert whose origins are disputed among different regions of Italy. Let's prepare it together. Layers of ladyfingers soaked in coffee alternated with a fluffy mascarpone cream. How can you resist? Let's start with the preparation of the coffee. I brew my coffee that is still hot. I lightly sugar it, but here it is a matter of choice. You can leave the coffee bitter, sugar it to your taste. We melt the sugar and leave it aside. For our tiramisu, we start with the egg yolks. We put them inside a bowl. We add a little bit of sugar, maybe half the amount provided in the recipe, and we start beating until we get a nice light, puffy and frothy mixture. Perfect, there you go. Now in another bowl, I put the mascarpone cheese nice and cold from the refrigerator I recommend. You see it's a little hard, so I let it soak and then slowly add the cream of yolks and sugar. As you can see, we got a nice thick cream. I took the mascarpone cream to the refrigerator and now we turn to whipping the egg whites with the remaining sugar. Always pasteurized egg whites, mind you. I start beating them until they turn white and then I will add the sugar in three separate times. Whipped egg whites. Now all I have to do is combine the two mixtures. I start adding a little bit of whipped egg whites to the mascarpone cream. Because the mascarpone cream I have to soften it a little bit and it has a little bit of a sugar cream consistency. Our cream as you can see is fine, it's well blended and it's very firm, perfect for our tiramisu, so we can compose it. We then start by dipping the lady fingers. We now put them in an oven dish horizontally. The next layer we will do vertically so that we cross them just so they don't fall apart. Now we can pass our cream that I, for convenience, put in a sack of poche equipped with a smooth nozzle. In this case, we make a generous layer of cream. You see, it is very important that the cream is abundant in the tiramisu, otherwise you will only eat soggy cookies. Perfect, now a generous layer of bitter cocoa powder and... Then we proceed with the second layer. First we put the lady fingers horizontally, now we will put them vertically. Now here we break them up. So we make little tufts on the surface that are a little bit more decorative. And now cocoa. I prepared the classic tiramisu in the baking dish, but now it is also fashionable to prepare it in convenient mini portions, maybe in small glasses or glass jars. Now we put our tiramisu in the refrigerator for at least a couple of hours to firm up, and then we could enjoy it. My tiramisu is ready. To be sure to please just about everyone, I prepared a nice dish of it to share. 